Hi guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about server side error codes. That is like 500 series error codes. Okay. Okay. So there are multiple 500 series error status codes comes, but few are important, which you will be seeing in interviews. Okay. So which all are those like 500 internal server error. Second one is five not to bad gateway. Third one is 503 service unavailable. And the fourth one is 504 gateway timeout. Okay. So let's start from this only 500, no, 504 gateway timeout. So what happens now? Whenever developers creates any API, okay. So what is the work of that API? When you will hit that API, it should do some work. Okay. And in in some cases, you may expect some response. In some cases, you may not expect from response. But that API, that API work should get completed in some specified duration of time. Okay. For example, within 60 seconds, within 30 seconds. So those are the time duration developers used to set that. Okay. It should not be like I am hitting some API. I am, I am waiting for one hour or 30 minutes for that to get processed. So that is like uh, uh, that time is like too much, right? So generally we are living in like a 4G world and uh, we are waiting for so much duration to just for one simple API to get uh, processed, okay? So, so generally developers used to set some time duration, okay? Within that time duration, we should get response from the server, okay? So now what happens? Suppose, suppose there is the network okay the network is very weak okay the network connection between the server and your system okay is very weak in that case server may delay delay your response okay suppose you have said uh, like you want uh, the response in 60 seconds okay and the server is taking more than 60 seconds to process your re request and sending the response in that case you will get this 504 uh, five gateway timeout error. Yeah, this could be one reason. What could be the another reason for this one? Suppose, suppose you, in your server configuration is very like uh, very low configuration you have given over there. Okay, like one GB RAM is there and uh, hard disk is like uh, 10 GB, 20 GB. Because see, whenever you are buying some server, right, you have to pay for it. So you have went for some minimum configuration. For example, I'm taking like, like 1 GB RAM you have opted for, okay. So that 1 GB RAM is not sufficient, okay, for server to process your request, okay, within some specified time. That server will process your request, but it's taking too long okay to process the request in that case also so so your response is not coming within the specific time what time you have specified within that time it is not coming in that case also you will get this 504 gateway timeout error okay the third reason could be be you have intentionally set very short duration of your response like within like five seconds only i should get response so in that case also so also you will get this 504 gateway timeout error generally we used to do this uh, one time of testing okay we reduce we increase the time duration and we used to test it so this is what like 504 uh, gateway timeout now coming to the earlier one is like 503 service unavailable okay so here what generally happens okay suppose your server in your server application is running and suddenly it got bombarded with so many requests okay so its cpu uses went full high okay that server server is also like computer only right so so many uh, threads are getting hit okay so many apis people are hitting okay so generally it happens uh, when exam results come right so you will be trying to, for your you will enter your role number to get the uh, get your result right and parallelly many people will be trying on the same website so at that time you will be getting like this service unavailable request it means whatever server is there that is not enough to handle that much pressure okay that much request at a time okay in that case you will get this service unavailable 503 service unavailable now the next one is 502 bad gateway okay this happens you know when when your uh, suppose you 
suppose some API is there. So I'll use some term like socket, okay. So application is configured, okay. So your application is configured to listen on some socket, okay. And that socket location you have not specified or you have done some mistake, uh, that path is not correct. So in that case, what will happen? Your request will go, but server will not able to understand from where I should send the response, okay? So it will look for some socket and that socket location is not specified, okay? In that case, it will tell bad, uh, bad gateway, okay? 500 to bad gateway error. Suppose one t sometimes what happens now? So there, there generally some proxy used to be there in every uh, office, okay? And proxies, in that proxy, some ports will be defined like your server, okay? Your server will respond to this port, okay? Port 8080 or 81 or some other ports, okay? And by mistake, in your proxy server, that port is not enabled, it is disabled, okay? Or it is not allowing your uh, proxy server is not allowing any communication through that port so in that case also also you will get uh, uh, miss you will get with this uh, error error code okay 502 bad gateway okay. and this one is like 500 internal server error so first one so generally it happens no there is no reason like uh, miss it is like unknown there could be multiple reason of uh, having this error code okay 500 internal server error. so some of them are here so what happens now suppose you have created your project you have deployed that your, your project to server but sometimes the structure of the project in what in what structure format server is expecting that that format is not proper so in that case, you may get this 500 internal server errors, okay? Sometimes some properties file, some properties in property file is missing, okay? In that case also, you will get this 500 internal server error. Sometimes what happens now, some, uh, some virus, okay? Some virus attacks happens and those virus, what they will do, they will uh, corrupt your some file okay they will change something they will append something in your file so in that case also that particular file will not be found and in that case also you will get uh, this 500 internal server there could be n number of regions but in answer if you will tell two three it is more than enough so hope you would have got the clear idea about this if still you have doubt anything you just ping in the comment i'll try to answer those things okay guys so thank you that's it for now